Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're all here for another week of spring decorating. And in today's video, we're gonna be decorating my dining room. I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite places to decorate for. I love all the natural light that comes in this room. And I did wanna show you a few of my pieces that I typically have in this room year round, like this gorgeous wooden metal wall arch, as well as my lamps, and this beautiful refinished buffet. I actually got this buffet probably almost seven years ago and I fell in love with it when I did see it at a local shop. I think I paid around $200 which is a great price but I love the color cream as well as the handles and the distressing on it. I thought it was just such a stunning piece and it would look great in my dining room. So before we get into our spring decorating, I did want to give you a look of what the weather is like here in Ontario, Canada. It's freezing. It feels like winter, but that's okay. We're going to make it feel like spring inside. And Holstein was not loving this weather. He is so ready for spring too. So let's get decorating. This first piece I'm gonna to use to decorate my metal wall arch was from a little store called the Dublin Mercantile. It says Chocolate Bunny Co. I just think it's so cute and it's just a tin little sign so it's really lightweight. I use a 3M hook to hang it and to disguise that hook, I'm gonna add this cute little bow. If you watch my videos regularly, you would see that I love to use wreaths in my home. I feel like they just add so much texture and visual interest. So I'm just gonna add this one to my wall arch. I found this one this year for $29.99 at HomeSense. And then I had this adorable gray bird feeder. It's just a little decor item that I've had for a few years. I love the rose design on it. And just to bring a little bit more interest to the wreath, I'm gonna add this to the center. I think it's so fun to jazz up wreaths. You can add signs to the middle, really anything. And I feel like it just makes them a little bit more personalized. So I'm really glad I thought to use that little feeder. I love the gray and I think it looks so soft and pretty for spring. And then I'm adding this really simple lamb's ear garland to the base of my buffet here. And I had some really pretty florals that I thought would look great, kind of intertwined in this garland, just to make it feel a little bit more springy and brighten it up a little bit. I love using a lot of neutral colors and especially for spring, I think creams and whites and greens are so gorgeous and just make everything feel so fresh. I'm really hoping that spring is here soon. Um, when I post this video, I think it's gonna be the first day of spring. So it feels like there is some hope, but here in Canada, we don't add any flowers or do any gardening till after the May 2-4 weekend, just because we do tend to get bad weather all the way into May, which is kind of crazy, but I guess that's Canada for you. I did want to add some height to this display, so I'm going to add this wooden riser. I've had this one, I think, since the fall, but I love how neutral it is. And then to bring a little bit more of a springtime feel, I'm adding some raffia. I think that's what it's called. I love to use this in the spring and the fall. And I have this adorable bunny. I've probably had this for five years. I have two of them. They were $12.99 each. And I just think they're so cute, and I just wanted to place him right on that raffia. When I decorate, I do typically love to decorate symmetrically, so I'm gonna go in and just copy what I did to this side. Um, I just love these bunnies too. I'm so happy I found them in my stash. And I just think they say spring slash Easter. And then I also have these adorable little carrots. I found these probably four or five years ago on clearance for $3 each. So such a great find. I feel like checking um, decor after season is also a great way to save money. And I'm always looking for a bargain.
I wanted to add these rosemary seeds to this display and I added a cute little clothespin to the top and kind of just tucked it into the spoke stack and I really love how it brings a little bit more of that spring feel to that book stack and then I have these adorable little carrots with the buffalo print on it I'm just going to add these to the buffet as I love how this little vignette turned out. I think it's so adorable for Easter and I'm actually hosting Easter this weekend. I'm going to have my family all over. So I've been trying to tidy up and just clean and get everything ready for company and figuring out what I'm going to make. So I'm super excited for that. Let me know if you guys are hosting Easter or have any Easter celebrations to go to. I can't believe it's probably less than three weeks away right now. And of course, here's my little helper. He's supervising and also getting some sun. I thought he was so cute and I know you guys just love to see him. I am adding an adorable little scarf to this basket here. I feel like it just makes the room really light and bright um, just by adding a lot of those neutral colors. And then I have this really pretty hat. I thrifted it from uh, the Goodwill. It was actually from H&M, but I thought it was perfect for spring and I could actually use this into summer also. I love this little basket I got from Michaels. I typically like to add this to ladders. I think it's just so adorable. And then I have one of my little doilies that I definitely thrifted. And to that, I'm also gonna add these cute little rabbit napkins. I'm gonna use these at Easter, but I thought they looked so cute just tucked into that basket. And I just love the gray and brown print. I think it's so adorable. Moving on to the tablescape, I found this gorgeous runner many years ago from HomeSense and I typically pull this out in the spring and summer. I love just how neutral it is with the cream and white. It's also double sided so I could have it on either side and I just think it's perfect for my spring display. I'm going to add this picture. I found it on clearance at HomeSense. I love the size and shape of it. I think it's just so elegant and I knew I wanted to add quite a lot of stems. I found these ones at Michael's for 50% off so they were around five dollars each and I think they're so gorgeous for spring. I really wanted this vase to be quite full and I think I got five or six stems. I thought they were just such a great price and to me they looked perfect for spring. It looks like the flowers are just kind of budding and I also loved how neutral they were. These were also a find from Michaels this year. They were 50% off, so I believe they were $12.50 each. I love the white and the delicate color and pattern on them. I think they're so perfect for spring and summer. And I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of moss, which is super messy, and then just some of these cute little eggs. Let me know in the comments if you guys have started your Easter decorating. I typically like to do my spring and Easter decorating together. I think the birds and the bunnies and everything just goes so well together. So that's kind of what I've always done. I'm gonna go in now and just add some simple black candle holders. I love adding a little bit of black to a space. I feel like it really grounds the room. And then I'm gonna go in with these wooden eggs. I did purchase these at Michael's last year and I love the raw wood look of them. Because my chandelier does hang lower, I don't mind putting a higher decor piece up in the middle of my tablescape, um, but I think it's just so beautiful and I can always move it off the table when we do eat here. I'm going to go in with a beautiful charger now that is also from Michaels and this cute little mini wreath with the lavender. It's in the lamb's ear. I love that soft green with the purple. And then I got this adorable little bunny plate at HomeSense. It was $7.99 and my sister actually bought these for me so thank you and I think they're just so adorable and perfect and I also had a carrot from the garland I did cut the garland down because it was so long so I had two extra carrots and I thought I would add them to the plates
and there's my little helper again he's actually not asleep on the job today he's wide awake and just looking around supervising as I decorate but I thought he looked so cute with his little paws together like that For this little corner, I wanted to keep it really simple. I have this basket. My sister actually thrifted this for me. I love the long handle on it. And to bring a little bit of height because I wanted to add a rabbit in here, I added this riser. And then I have this adorable mama and baby bunny. I've had this for a few years now in this gorgeous gray color. So I just nestled that right onto the little stand. And then I'm gonna tuck some of this straw into the basket. To bring a little bit of softness to this, I'm gonna go in with these really pretty flowers and I love how it just looks like this mom is in the meadow with her baby. For my sofa table, I wanted to keep it really simple. You can see um, all my decor in the background and how everything just flows together super well. I'm going to add this box of flowers that I have and then to it I'm going to add the wooden eggs. I did use some of those on the table and I'm going to kind of just tuck these into the floral arrangement just to make it feel a little bit more Eastery. Walmart has the cutest decor. Last year I got this sign, it's double-sided. One side says welcome to our nest and the other side says happy Easter. So I'm just kind of gonna place that in front of that box display. And then I got this gorgeous wooden dough bowl this weekend. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that. I absolutely love it and I'm still deciding what I should put in here. So if you guys could leave a comment and let me know what you think I should add to this, I will do that and then before my home tour, where I'll kind of show you guys what I did end up adding. I'm thinking I could add florals, I could add garland, eggs, I could really add anything, but let me know what you think would look cute in there, and then you'll have to come back and see what I did end up adding. I'm just gonna kind of give you guys an overview how everything came together. I'll just let you look at that, but I'm so grateful you guys come back every week and visit with me. We love you so much, me and Holstein. Look forward to seeing you guys every week and chatting in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me a comment, say hi, and hit that like button. But until the next video, friends, take care, God bless. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be doing another spring decorate with me video. I did pick up a few new pieces to add to my collection that I already have. I think it's kind of fun to add a few new things every season. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this gorgeous candle. I did get this at Home Sense. It's a wildflower scent and it kind of has the notes of honeysuckle and poppy and white daisy. It smells so pretty and this was $16.99. The next piece I found was this adorable little watering can. I love that it was gray. It was $7.99, and to me, watering cans just say spring. 
found this gorgeous frame print from Michaels this year. I think it's stunning. I love the whitewash frame as well as the flowers on it and the print. I can't remember if it was $19.99 or $24.99, but it was 50% off. And I think it's just gorgeous for spring decor. I wanted to show a close up. You can see that there's some writing. It almost looks like it's from a novel, but I think this is so pretty and you could definitely use this into summer also. These flower stems were from Michaels. They have all the flower stems on buy one get one free so I got both for $3 and I just love the simplicity of them. I also picked up some lavender stems. Again these were buy one get one free and they were $5.99 each but I think they're so pretty. I love the little twine detail on them and to me the lavender looks so realistic and I love using that soft purple in my spring decor. I did want to pick up some seasonal napkins for the kitchen. I think it just is fun to do that every season. I did find these at Winners, which is like a home sense or a TJ Maxx. I think they're so beautiful. And I was debating between this one and this other set you'll see here, um, but they were both so gorgeous and they were $5.99. I love adding seasonal tea towels to my decor also. These ones were so pretty. I love the detail on the bottom as well as the sage green and white. I think they complement each other so well. And for the pack of two, it was $9.99. So I thought these were just too sweet to pass up. I did end up getting one more set because I feel like you can never have too many tea towels and I like to keep mine nice and bright by using OxyClean on them and it really does help extend the life of them. Um, and this set was $12.99 but you did get three so I thought that was a great deal. Another way to embrace every season is to change your hand soap, your dish soap, uh, your multi-surface spray. I did get the lilac scent from Mrs. Myers. It smells so pretty and it reminds me of spring because we did grow up having a lilac tree in our yard so I just love this scent. That's just a brief overview of some of the new things I did buy, but I'm going to be mostly using things that I've owned from previous years. And I just can't wait to get the kitchen decorated. It's been a beautiful weekend here. It's been so sunny and warm, warm for Canada. So we've really been enjoying the weather and I just feel like it's been a really long winter. It hasn't been super cold, but it just feels like it's going on forever. So I can't wait to add some seasonal spring touches. And I'm also going to be adding in some Easter decor and I just really want everything to feel light and bright and airy and this is just like I said at our kitchen it is quite dark we have dark cabinets but our countertops are nice and bright so let's get started on the spring decorating I did want to share a quick clip first of Holstein. He's just sunbathing today. I know you guys love to see him. This is my little puppy. If you are new to the channel, he's four years old. He's the love of our lives and he's just such a little sweet boy, but he was just taking advantage of all the sun coming in today. And while I was decorating, he was just enjoying the warmth. I'm going to start by decorating my kitchen island. I have this really pretty woven basket. I love the handles on the side and to me these baskets just say spring and summer and I think they're so neutral and gorgeous. And then to that I'm going to add this really pretty cake stand. I think it's stunning. And then I have this garland but I kind of wanted to make it look like a wreath. I didn't have a wreath for this area so I thought why not just use a garland as kind of like a wreath. I've done this in previous years before and I want it to look really messy and just really natural. This garland I believe was from Michaels or HomeSense. Those are kind of the main stores I shop at. And then I had this adorable little bunny. This was definitely from Michaels because the tag was on the bottom. And then I'm just going to add my cloche top and I think it's just the perfect simplistic little spring Easter display. I've had these placemats for quite a few years now, but I always seem to go back to them. I think they're so gorgeous for spring or summer. And then to the top of these, I'm going to layer on these chargers from Michaels. I have quite a few of these and I just love how neutral they are. 
I got these sage green plates last year. They have some speckling on them. They kind of remind me of an Easter egg. I think they're so pretty. And then I'm going to go in with one of my little lavender stems. And also I have these really pretty eggs. I got them last year from Michael's. And I love the raw wood on them. And I think it's just such a cute, simplistic little table setting. But it definitely combines all the colors I'm working with. It adds some texture. And I feel like it has a lot of visual interest. Let me know in the comments what colors you guys are using for your decor if you're decorating for spring or Easter. I think purple is such a pretty color. I also love soft pinks, but I think it's just nice to add in a little bit of color. By the sink, I'm just adding my Mrs. Meyer soaps as well as this really cute brush. I don't really use it for dishes. It's mostly for decor, but I think it looks so adorable by the sink. And then right above the microwave, I have this pretty sign that says our nest. I thought it was super fitting for Easter. I I have some hooks on my cabinets which you can see and my plan is to add some little wreaths. I did this last year also. I got these grapevine wreaths from Michaels and I added some greenery and then this is where I wanted to add these little white flowers just to add more of a wildflower feel to them and because our cabinets are so dark I feel like with the white it just pops on the cabinets a bit more. And by not gluing any stems in and just kind of intertwining them into your wreaths, it makes it really easy to change them out for the seasons. And this is such an inexpensive way to add something to your cabinets without having to spend a lot of money. I'm going to go in with this gray whitewash tobacco basket. I think it's so pretty. I have quite a few of these, but I love them. I wanted to disguise my light switches. And then I also think they add some texture to the space. I'm going to add one of my tea towels. And I love to add these throughout the kitchen on my vignettes. And then I have this picture holder. I thought I would add one of my cookbooks. And that's a really easy way to bring some decor into your home without spending a lot of money is displaying cookbooks and also adding greenery or little stems to existing decor that you have in the kitchen. That way you don't have to switch everything up but just add a few little touches for every season. I love how this little area turned out. I think it's super adorable and it's using all the colors that I plan to use throughout my home for the spring season. So I'm really happy with how everything's looking. I have this welcome home sign. It's kind of chippy and distressed. I thought I would just add it above the stove just for another layer. And then on the stove top to keep it really simple for when we cook, I added this riser and I had this stunning bunny. I love that it kind of looks weathered and old i think it's so beautiful so i thought i would add that to my little riser that way it's really easy to move when we do want to cook and then just for a pop of greenery i'm going to add in this little plant from michael's I'm going to go in now and add some tea towels to my oven. I love to add seasonal towels here. I feel like it just jazzes up the space a bit and makes it feel a little bit more special. And I love these tea towels. I think they're so darling with the bunnies on them. And I was so happy to find neutral ones. I was finding a lot of bright colors when I went. So when I seen these, I knew I had to pick them up or they'd be gone. By my coffee bar, I thought I would add this little stand. It was from Michael's in their spring collection, but I got it quite a few months ago. I don't know if they still have it in stock. I will link it if I can find it. But I'm going to add this little cutting board as well as my napkins. It almost looks like a pitcher the way I display these napkins. And then I also have these gorgeous wooden beads. They were sent to me by a sweet friend who's a subscriber, and I love them so much. I think they look so pretty in my spring kitchen. I feel like you can never have enough greenery for spring and summer. It just adds a freshness and cleanness to the space. I love the bottom on this little greenery and I just love how simplistic and just kind of wild looking they are. And these little birds nests were so adorable. I've had them for a few years now. I love the speckled eggs and I just think they're so cute. And I didn't have any specific Easter or spring coffee mugs so I just added my Ray Dunn mug and I think it goes with the rest of the space. Thank you. 
An inexpensive way to add some decor to your kitchen is just to display some chargers or plates. I love how this just ties into the plates I used on the island and it was just such a simple way to add some beautiful decor to the kitchen counters. I love this little whitewashed Hello Spring sign. I love whitewashed wood for spring and summer and then the more darker woods for fall and winter. And I am gonna add that whitewashed picture frame here as well as some gorgeous lavender. If you watched my last spring decorate with me video, you would have seen that I used a lot of birds in my decor and I had this gorgeous gray bird. I thought it was so pretty. You can store candy in here, anything really. So I thought I would add that. And then I also have this mini version of the riser that we used by the coffee station. And to that, I'm going to add this watering can. And I thought I would add just a few little bunches of lavender to bring in some purple right over here. I feel like a really simple trick to keep your home looking cohesive is to kind of stick with the same color palette throughout your home when you're decorating seasonally and that's kind of what I plan to do with the purples, the light woods, the sage green and I think it's just perfect for spring into summer. I love this little vase from Michaels. I need to take the tag off but <laughs> I can kind of just disguise it there. And then I have this really pretty gray lantern. I kind of just took a little eucalyptus pick and made it kind of into a wreath and I'm going to add that really pretty wildflower candle to this lantern. The final little touch to my counters is this wooden frame bunny. I took a card from the dollar store, cut it out and added it to this frame, which is also another inexpensive way to add decor. And then I'm adding this cute basket right above the fridge. And this completes my spring slash Easter kitchen. I love how it all turned out. I think everything blends really well together. And it's just using a lot of neutrals with some pops of purple and that gorgeous sage green. Let me know how you guys think everything turned out. I really like it. I've been enjoying the kitchen the last few days and I can't wait to decorate the dining room, the living room, the upstairs loft, just make everything feel really springy and nice because like I said, it has been quite warm here. Spring is maybe a month away. We get to turn the clocks ahead maybe in a month or so. So I'm super excited for longer daylight because here it was getting dark around 4.30 or 5 in the winter. So I can't wait till it's nine o'clock at night again before it gets dark. I'm so looking forward to that. So I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. And I would love for you guys to follow me um, over on Instagram at Rebecca Fraser Home Decor. I do post a lot throughout the week and share little tidbits of our life and Holstein and my husband. So I would love for you guys to go over and follow me there but I loved making this video and I just can't wait to make more spring content for you guys and stay tuned till the end because I'm going to show a cute little clip of Holstein um, in the sun again so until the next video friends take care god bless
Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here today. And in today's video, we're gonna be decorating my entryway as well as my powder room for spring. And I'm gonna show you some fun new pieces I did find this year. I always love to add to my collection. So these pillows that I'm showing now, I did get these from HomeSense, two for $39.99. And the sage green one was $24.99. I'm loving this color for spring. I did wanna get some new little towels for my powder room and I love these DKNY ones I found they were really reasonable and HomeSense has so many little tea towels and face cloths and things like that to choose from so if you are looking for some I highly recommend them I also found this wooden pitcher frame as well as this gorgeous bottle of hand soap I did want to stick with that green theme so when I seen that bottle and then this really pretty um, hand soap also I just couldn't resist it. I thought it was just too pretty and again just like the towels they have so many soaps to choose from at HomeSense so I highly recommend checking them out and for this big bottle it was only $6.99 which I thought was such a good deal. If you read the two soaps I got, they are jasmine, and then I fell in love with this candle. It's a three wick candle, it was $14.99, and I love the size, the jar it came with, everything about it. And then moving on to Michael's, I found this lavender stem. It was $19.99, but it was buy one, get one free. So I love shopping when they have these kinds of sales. And then this really pretty, almost like basket was $19.99 also. So I got the lavender in the basket for $20 for both, which was a great deal this little clock was so pretty I love the shape as well as the distressing Michaels has some really gorgeous pieces for spring if you haven't checked them out I would highly recommend going especially now because everything is buy one get one free this piece was a bit pricey at $39.99 but again I ended up getting this cute little bike which was $39.99 also so for both of those pieces it was 40 and then I found these cute little lavender stems and I thought they would look adorable in the basket. So that's just a little overview of all my new pieces that I am going to be using and I'm also going to be using a mix of things that I already have from previous years because let's be honest it's hard to go out and buy everything new. Um, but to decorate my mirror here I did want to add this amazing grace sign. It was from Michaels last year I think and I am really sticking with a neutral palette for spring and I also had this wicker basket. I got that from Zares, a local grocery store and to that I'm adding this stunning black vase I love it so much with some gorgeous eucalyptus to throw a little bit of color into my decor I decided to go with purple I really love purple for spring and I think it's because I love lavender so much so I did add some purple stems to the eucalyptus and then to add a little bit more um, layering onto my tray I added this little tea towel and then my gorgeous candle I didn't want to burn it because I thought it was just so stunning so I wanted to kind of keep the color and keep it looking new and then I'm also going to add these gorgeous distress candlesticks to this little entryway table. I feel like using birds in the spring is just my favorite thing to do. I love birds to begin with, but I think they're so perfect for this time of year. I also love to use rabbits, just anything from nature I think is gorgeous. And here in Canada, it's starting to feel like spring. It's been a beautiful weekend. And this week, I think on Wednesday, it's supposed to get up to 14 degrees, which for here is amazing. Moving on to the bottom of this table, I'm gonna add some throw pillows. I have um, one of these gorgeous printed ones as well as my welcome one. And I had to stop and give Holstein a little cuddle break. If you have pets, you know that when you're trying to do something, that's when they want the most attention. <laughs> so I did stop to give him a cuddle. And then I had this farmhouse stool from Michaels a few years ago. And I thought I would bring it into the front lobby. I've never done that, but I thought it would be fun to switch things up. And then I'm also going to add my bird cage. I've had this for many years but again it's perfect for spring and pieces like this are so fun because you can use them every year and just switch up what you put inside them. I did want to add this little stool just to bring some height because I knew that I did want to put a little bird in here and I wanted to sit a little bit higher and again this is another one of my favorite little birds. I think it's so cute and it looks perfect in this little bird cage. 
I'm loving how everything's coming along. It was kind of hard for me to take down all my winter, but I was so excited to bring out all my spring decor. I can't believe it's already almost the middle of February and I'm starting to decorate for spring, but it's such a fun time of the year. And then moving over to this little coat rack, I did look in my closet for this scarf. I thought it was so light and airy. I'm gonna add my basket and then I had some tulips. I get most of my florals from Michaels. They always have a great selection and they always seem to have sales. So I love um, buying my florals there. And then moving over to this gorgeous piece I have right above our bench, I added that little envelope basket as well as some lavender. And then just to bring a little bit more spring into this area, I'm adding this cute little mini wreath. So as you can see from this clip, there's a lot of sun coming in. It's been so sunny and nice this past weekend, and we've been soaking up every second of it. It's been gorgeous, and I think that really inspired me to start decorating. I did want to use one of my lanterns I had, and I thought instead of using candles or twinkle lights, I would just add one of my lavender little stems, and I think it's so pretty. I love the base on this. It almost looks like it has daisies on it, but I thought it would be something different, and then I'm going to go in with a wicker basket. Wicker is my favorite, especially for spring, and then a cute pair of rain boots. This green wreath is a perfect addition for the powder room door, and I'm actually going to make a little, um, almost like a little pitcher hanging. I'm going to use my tobacco basket, and then to that, I'm going to add this little mini wreath. I'm just using twine to kind of fasten everything together, and then I'm just going to hang this right over my little stand here. I wanted something really light and airy, and I thought I would just kind of make my own piece, so that was fun. And then I have this really cute picture of Holstein. I love pictures, but I don't love colored ones. So I'm going to start incorporating more, but I'm going to use black and white. And I just feel like it adds a bit more of an elegant touch and it makes your home feel cozy and inviting when you have family pictures. This little wood stool is so cute. I just love using those raw natural woods. And then to it, I'm gonna add these really cute dainty birds and I think they're the perfect addition. This bike I fell in love with. I think it's so perfect for the spring and I always see people biking in the spring and summer. So I think it looks so cute with the lavender tucked in. So I was really happy I found this at Michael's this year. I would love to know in the comments if you guys have started decorating for spring or if you just have everyday decor out or kind of what you're decorating with right now. I think it's always fun to see what other people are doing. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. But if you are one of my friends that come and visit every week, I am so grateful and happy you're here. And I would love it if you would give this video a like and leave me a comment. And then come follow me over at Instagram at Rebecca Fraser Home Decor. I'm so excited to be decorating for spring now, so I'm gonna have lots of more videos coming out. I'm going to actually try to do some crafting, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm loving how everything's looking so far. I feel like the house just feels so airy, and I'm just so motivated and excited for the spring and summer. The winter's felt so long this year. I don't know if it's felt the same way for you guys. So I just can't wait for warmer weather, lots of sunshine, and I had the front door kind of open a bit today. Holstein loved looking out so it was just nice to get fresh air and just enjoy the sunshine I would also love to know if you guys decorate for Easter or if you kind of just incorporate Easter items into your spring decor. I'm kind of debating what I want to do this year. I do love to decorate for Easter. Um, so I just have lots of ideas, but I would love to hear from you guys if you would like to see some Easter videos as well. This little bird cage turned out so cute. It's actually one of my favorite things about the front hallway, as well as this little seating area. I think it looks so cute and light and bright and airy. So I'm excited to enjoy this space for the next few months.
there's my little buddy. He's just enjoying his snack. Well, he didn't really eat it. He was just kind of carrying it around <laughs> everywhere and kind of keeping an eye on the neighborhood. But I thought he looked so adorable in his little basket. And I know you love seeing him. So he's sending you all lots of love. And then we're going to move over to the powder room now. This is just off the front entryway. And I like to kind of decorate this to match the rest of the house because we do use this bathroom a lot for guests. So I typically always have this basket right on the top of this cabinet. I'm going to add in some really pretty eucalyptus branches just to bring some of that really pretty green color to this space. I have this really pretty home sign and then again I'm going to add another cute little bird here. I am going to go in with these cute little towels now and add them to the basket. I love to add seasonal towels here. I think it's kind of just a cute touch to have in the powder room. And then I'm going to go in with this bar of soap as well as this gorgeous bottle. Okay, I have another bird to add. If you are watching all the way to the end, you'll have to let me know how many birds I've used to decorate with. I just can't help it. I think they're so cute. And this little stone one or cement one was from Michael's last year, I believe. So the last little finishing touch is this hand towel and I think everything turned out super cute. I think the two rooms flow really well together and I had so much fun decorating and bringing you guys along so I hope you'll stay tuned for the next one. Take care. God bless. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm gonna be decorating the mantle for spring, but before we get started on that, I did wanna show you a few new finds um, that I purchased with the mantle in mind. I didn't really get too much because I'm trying to kind of use what I already have, but I did get these beautiful containers. They were from Michaels, and I believe they were $24.99 each, but they had a sale on buy one, get one free. And I love the cream color and the size of these and then the next item I got was this family is a heart of the home sign I love this little simple hanger on it it was from Michaels and I just thought it was so soft and pretty and this could actually work all the way into summer it's very neutral and this piece was $49.99 but it was half price and then the last little new purchase that I did find was this really adorable bunny garland. I couldn't pass it up. It kind of looks like burlap and it's just so soft and neutral. And it just adds that perfect little spring touch I was looking for. It just has these little hangers on it. So I thought this would look adorable just on the mantle, just to bring a little bit of Easter touches into my spring decor. So I've deep cleaned my whole living room. I did the blinds, the baseboards. I dusted everything and mopped and swept. So everything feels really fresh and clean in here. It's super neutral. And the mantle is one of my favorite spaces to decorate seasonally. So I'm super excited to see what we can come up with. I do always have this mirror on my mantle. We do have a built-in for a TV, but I just love the mirror. It makes everything so nice and open and airy. So I did add that family sign, and then I have this really pretty bird cage. I did get this last year from a store called the Dublin Mercantile, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this, and I've used it in quite a few videos if you are someone who watches my channel on a daily basis, but I think it's such a versatile piece. I'm just showing you that the bottom tray does come out, which makes it really simple when I do want to clean it. But the only way you can add decor is through this really small opening. I wish the top opened up, but it doesn't. So I'm going to use this really gorgeous garland I have. I have a few of these and I think they're so pretty for spring. And then I'm just going to tuck this right into the birdcage. 
If you are looking for a similar garland to this one, I did purchase this one at HomeSense. I know TJ Maxx probably has something similar. Michaels has a lot of garlands this time of year. And I really wanted a wispy springtime feel. And then I had this adorable bunny and baby set. It was $8.99. I got this last year at HomeSense and I thought it was just so adorable. So I knew that I wanted to add, instead of putting a bird in here, I thought it would be really cute to add a bunny for Easter. Let me know in the comments if you guys like to decorate with bird cages this time of the year also. I just feel like they're so springy and just beautiful for this time of year. And I have quite a few of them that I've accumulated over the years, but I would say this one's my favorite and my biggest one. And then I'm gonna go in with some of these Easter eggs. I think they're adorable. I just kind of wanted to tuck them into the garland. To bring a little bit of height and airiness to the space, I'm gonna add these canisters now. And then I have these gorgeous cherry blossoms. I think that's what these are called, correct me if I'm wrong. And I added some tea towels to my canisters just so these stems would stick up a little bit taller. I did want it to feel really grandiose and airy. And then I also had some light gray twigs and I thought I would add these in also just to bring a little bit more dimension and a little bit more character to the cherry blossoms. I really love using florals and twigs in the spring especially and into the summer even. I really feel like it does give that springy feel and just decorating this made me so happy just thinking that next month is April and we're going to start seeing flowers come up. I'm so excited but I think the mantle's looking really pretty, very simplistic but I just love how airy everything feels and that's kind of what I was going for in this space. A little bit more minimalistic um, than I usually go for but I'm loving how everything's looking. When I was looking through my Easter stash, I found these really pretty eggs with the bunnies. They were $6.99 each, and I thought they would look so pretty just on one of my candle holders just to bring a little bit more height so they're not laying quite as low. And I love how this turned out just by using things that I already had on hand. And then I'm showing you my little 3M hooks here. I just attached one on each side of the mantle, and these are great for hanging garlands. I did have a eucalyptus garland and I love the pop of greenery that it brings to the space. I find it so calming and soothing for springtime. And then I just layered my bunny garland right on top and I think it's a perfect combination. Everything looks so soft and feminine and it really says spring to me. So I thought it would be really fun for you guys to decide what room I decorate next. I can either finish up in the living room with the bookshelves and the rest of the room, or I can do the dining room and come back to the living room. So let me know in the comments, you guys get to decide what I decorate next, and that'll be my next video. I'll tally up all your comments, and we'll see what we decorate next week. For all of you guys probably wondering where Holstein is, I am going to show a little clip of him at the end, um, but I did want to say thank you so much for all your support and your love on my last video, my kitchen decorate with me. I will link that below if you did miss it, but I am just so truly grateful for each and every one of you. I know this was a shorter video this week, um, but there's just been so much going on that I wanted to get something out for you guys, even though I know it's nothing too big, um, but I am excited to film some more spring and Easter videos and here's that little clip of Holstein I promised he's just snacking away and I need to get his hair cut soon it's getting so long but anyways friends thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with us we love you all so much and we will see you on the next video god bless
Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here for another decorating video. In this week's video, we're gonna be decorating the bookshelves and the rest of my living room to tie into the mantle, which we decorated last week. If you did miss that video, I will link it in my description box, but I absolutely love how everything came together with the greenery and just the neutral tones. To me, it's just really calming and relaxing, and it's just very simple simplistic which is kind of how I like to decorate so let's get started before I start decorating I did want to show you this super sweet clip of Holstein I know a lot of you love to see him and that's probably why a lot of you do come back to my channel so I hope you love this little clip and he's going to be my little helper in today's video I do want to keep things quite neutral on the bookshelves to tie into the mantle. I had this really pretty box. It was $9.99. I believe I got it a few months ago from HomeSense. And I love also the simplicity of it. And I want to keep these shelves very minimalistic. I'm not going to add too much to them. I have this cute little wheelbarrow. It was from Dollarama last year. And I added some straw to it. Um, I'm trying to use a lot of decor that I have kind of accumulated through the years and this was also um, something that I got last spring at kind of like a liquidation world these Peter Rabbit books and I thought it would be really cute just to tuck one of these into the wheelbarrow and just kind of use some of these books in my Easter decor. I love using baskets in my spring decor. This one I picked up for 99 cents from the thrift store and I added a sweet little lace doily to it. And then I'm gonna go in with this really pretty sage green bird. And birds are just my favorite to use in my spring decor. I think they're so gorgeous and I love incorporating elements of nature. In a lot of my decor, I love to layer pieces and I feel like it adds a lot of visual interest and I just enjoy doing it. I wanted to drape these wooden beads in the bowl and then I had this super cute bunny, a mama and her baby. It was from Dollarama last year and I knew that I wanted to add this into this really chippy pretty bowl that I had from Michaels and then I'm just going to bring in some beautiful flowers just to bring a little bit more of that springtime feel even though where I am. It's currently snowing as I'm editing this, so it doesn't feel like spring here, but hopefully it'll be coming soon. To bring a little bit of ambience for the evenings, I do have this flameless flickering candle in this gorgeous sage green color. I'm going to tuck that into the bookshelf and then I'm going to go in with one of my risers here. I've had this one for quite a while and I love to use risers when I'm decorating. Watering cans are also perfect for the springtime and you can find these at garage sales, thrifting. I got this one on clearance last year at the end of the season, but I love the shape of it and I just think it's so gorgeous for spring. When I am decorating a room, I do try to use similar color palettes for the whole room and kind of throughout the whole level of house that I'm decorating. Even the same florals or light colored florals, I just feel like the room looks very uniform and just cohesive when you kind of stick with the same color palette. And I just find it feels very calming and relaxing when I kind of mix the prints but keep the colors very similar.
September I'm overwhelmed and grateful You took what I deserve I love this adorable watering can. It has uh, daisies on it, I think. It was $4 from the dollar store. And I'm gonna add some more of my florals to it from Michael's. And then I have this really pretty nest. I love it. To me, it looks like it was kind of just taken from the forest and put on my bookshelf. So I just think it's so perfect for Easter. I love how everything's coming together with just all the natural tones, the grays, the creams, and the greenery. I think it all blends really well with the mantle, and I just love how light and airy everything looks. I think that's my favorite thing about spring is just how bright and light everything looks, and it just makes you feel like there's hope. Easter is such a special time of the year, especially if you're a Christian. Um, there's just so much joy to be had around this holiday, so I can't believe it's less than a month away. It really feels like the spring and summer is going to fly already, um, but we're so looking forward to that time of year and just that nice warm weather that hopefully is coming soon. In this little corner, I had this really pretty stool. I love the natural legs on it. And then I did move my little table into this area. I'm gonna add a really simple vase with a candle and then just my little wick trimmer. And then I had a stem of greenery just to bring a little bit of color into this corner. I think it looks so pretty. And I did move my couch back. <laughs> if you watch my winter videos, I had kind of rearranged my living room, but I ended up moving it back so I'm gonna decorate my little ottoman area with some tulips I love these eggs I think I got them for a dollar at the Dublin Mercantile on clearance and then I found this really cute bunny this year at HomeSense for $8.99 
I did find this really pretty pattern pillow at HomeSense and I love that cream color, the texture that it gives um, to this area. I'm showing you a little quick shot of all my pillows and you can see that a lot of them have different patterns but because they're all kind of in the same color family it works really well together and I just like having a lot of pillows on the couch as you can see Holstein also likes it but I just feel like it makes the space feel really cozy and inviting. Holstein's definitely having a really sleepy afternoon but I think he just always looks so cute and he always wants to be propped up on all the pillows. I'm going to show you some clips now how everything came together and I just love it. It really makes me happy and it makes me so excited. Um, I can't wait to decorate the dining room and then that'll kind of be the last room in my lower level to decorate for spring and Easter. And I am waiting on some furniture for my upstairs loft but I do want to get that spring and Easter ready also up there. So I will have a lot more videos coming up. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and your comments truly bring me so much joy every week and I still feel sometimes in disbelief that so many of you come back and visit with me every week so I'm so so grateful for each and every one of you and until the next video friends take care and God bless Hi sweet friends, welcome back to another spring decorate with me. In today's video we're going to be decorating my front porch for spring. I'm so excited, it's finally starting to warm up here in Canada and I got these gorgeous flowers from Costco for $29.99 and I just love them. I think they're so pretty and perfect for spring. I love using hydrangeas in the spring, I think they're so gorgeous and I love the white color of these ones and Costco always has the best selection of flowers in my opinion so I'm super excited to use these on the front porch this year. I did pick up these gorgeous lanterns from HomeSense and I love the simplicity of them. They're really lightweight. They were $24.99 each and I actually want to use these in my fall decor. I'm already thinking about fall but I just think they were such a great price and I love that I can turn them on in the evenings. And the next piece I picked up was this really pretty watering can. I love the shape of it, the color and it was on clearance for $13 at HomeSense also. I've seen this adorable little sign. I love how neutral it is and I thought this would be great for the front porch. It says spring has sprung with this really cute bunny and it was on clearance for only $4. The last thing I picked up from HomeSense were these metal black signs. I thought they were so cute, little Easter eggs, and I think you can use these all spring and they were on clearance for $5 each. So as you can see from the bright sunshine, it's an absolutely beautiful weekend here, just in time for Easter. So grateful for the warmth and the sunshine, and I feel like it just puts everybody in a happier mood, including myself. And it's been such a long winter that it feels extra special to have the sun and warm weather. The camera isn't really picking it up but it was a little bent in certain spots this mat just from being in storage so I just wanted to smooth that out. I didn't want any tripping hazards right here on the front porch. I've had this little bistro set for a few years now. It's so pretty and it's just a perfect size for the front porch. It doesn't take up too much room and it's just nice to have a little seating area out here to be able to enjoy the morning and afternoon sun. I had this set sitting in the garage all winter so it looked a little bit dirty. I wanted to give it a nice good clean and I'm using my Method Glass Cleaner. I love this. It leaves everything really streak free and clean and as you can see it was quite dirty so it's so nice to freshen things up for the spring. 
To freshen up our cushions, I did give the covers a good wash in the washing machine. I think they might have shrunk a little bit because I was struggling to put the pillow back in here. But I feel like just freshening up the pieces you already have can make them look new again. And it just makes everything feel so fresh for a new season. And I love that I can wash these. I feel like being outside, we live in a construction zone kind of. There's a lot of new houses being built. So there's a lot of dust. So it was just nice to give these a good wash and get them nice and fresh. Let me know in the comments if you guys have decorated your front porch, if you have one for spring or your back porch. I feel like in April, that's typically when we do pull this out. Um, it still gets quite chilly here though, and we've been having really high temps probably for the last few days, and it looks like it's going to continue into next week. So I really wanted to get the front space done, and then I'm going to start working on our back deck. I want to power wash the deck and just get that really clean, and then bring out our sectional and all of our furniture out back. Because the chairs are kind of a hard plastic, I always lay this little blanket here and Holstein knows this is his spot. This is where he loves to sit all spring and summer and into the fall actually too. So I always like to make a little comfy nook for him so he's really cozy when he sits out. I've used these pillows probably the last few springs and I love them. I love the soft purple with the green and I think they're perfect for the front porch. I was trying to kind of tuck this in without disturbing Holstein too much but I think they're such adorable pillows and I always get excited pulling them out every year. Moving over to our front door, I always love to add a wreath. I had this one for a few years and I love the white. It just ties in with the flowers that I'm going to use. And I think this wreath was around $20, which I think is such a great price for such a large wreath. And I just love how full and lush it is. I knew that I wanted these new lanterns to kind of flank the door. I just love them and I think they're going to look gorgeous in the evenings when I can turn on the lights. Um, they are battery operated and because this is an enclosed porch, the top portion, I know that they'll be nice and safe and the sun was really beating down. Holstein was getting hot but he did not want to come inside fill in a little bit of space in this corner I'm gonna use this really pretty table this was my mom's I actually purchased it for her for Mother's Day I believe it was from 10,000 villages and I just think it's so gorgeous and perfect for the front porch I knew that I wanted to use this little watering can on here and then I had one of these adorable little lavender bunches left over it was from Michaels so I just tucked that into the watering can I'm going to add my little bunny sign now. I'm going to carry this all the way into May probably until I decorate my porch for summer. And then moving to the top of my bistro table, I had this really adorable birdhouse. It says nest on it. It's actually Ray Dunn and it was on clearance I think for $9. So it was such a great price because it is such a large piece. These adorable little coasters were the finishing touch. I wanted to keep things really minimalistic and simple out here. It just makes it a lot easier when I go to clean the space, not having a lot to kind of tidy up and clean. And if it gets windy, which it typically does here, I didn't want anything really blowing around. And then I'm going to come in with my gorgeous planners and I just feel like they fill the space in so nicely and add such a pretty vibe for spring. The finishing touches are these metal eggs and I'm going to keep these also up probably until I do my summer decorating. I feel like they're perfect for spring, not just Easter. And I just love that little pop of spring that it does add to these planters. Let me know in the comments if you guys had a good Easter. We did. We went to church in the morning, then we went out for lunch and just spent time with family, then came home, relaxed outside, and I did some decorating. So let me know what you guys ended up getting up to and Holstein's just having his little afternoon nap now. 
I decided to start reading one of my favorite books, Anna Green Gables, and it was just a perfect afternoon to spend it outside in the warm sunshine. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this front porch decorate with me. It was such a beautiful day. I just really wanted to get the porch all done up for spring so I can come out here and enjoy it. I'm so grateful that you guys come by every week to spend some time with us. So until the next video, friends, take care. God bless. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and to my 2023 spring home tour. I'm so happy to be back and I'm so happy you're all here. I just wanted to say I've missed you all so much. It's been a few weeks since I've posted, so it feels so good to be back on YouTube and sharing my spring 2023 home tour. So let's get started. So when you first enter our home, I have our beautiful console table here, as well as this amazing grace sign. I got this from Michaels a few years ago. I think it's so rustic and pretty, and I love to bring this out in the spring and summer. I love how neutral it is. And on top of the console table, I did keep it quite simple with some greenery, as well as some lavender stems, lots of candles, and this adorable little bird. I did add a few pillows to the bottom of the console table just for some texture. And then this is another one of my favorite little pieces. It's this bird cage. I've had this piece for quite a while and I have a second one that's a lot smaller. But I just added a cute little bird to it on a riser, some lavender, and this adorable little lace bow. Over to the right of the door when you walk in, I have this beautiful wooden arch. I've added some lavender. And then we have our bench here, which I've kind of turned it into more of a decor staging piece than an actual usable bench. But I've added some pillows and lanterns. And to me, lanterns are so versatile. I love using them in my home and filling them with different things seasonally. So I have some lavender and a wooden egg. And then I added some cute little rain boots to bring in that springtime feel to the front foyer. We also have a small little powder room in our front entryway here. I love that sign from Michaels and I typically have a wreath hanging on this door. And when I say this is a small bathroom, it is quite small, but it's just perfect for when guests come over. And I do love to add some spring touches or seasonal touches to the space just to tie it in with the rest of the house. I did find this beautiful shelf on Kijiji. I think it was around $50. And I love that I can just add some cute little vignettes to it. Otherwise, there wouldn't be much room to decorate in here. But I've just added a few little touches, mostly creams, whites, and greens, kind of sticking to my spring theme. And I love how light and airy everything looks in here also. And by the sink, I just put a little bird and some little face towels and some hand soaps. In this little nook, I've added a tobacco basket and a wreath. And then I have this three-tier shelf. It's from HomeSense. I've had it for many years, but I love it. It's so fun to decorate. And you can see I have a cute little picture of Holstein in there. He's actually going to be five this weekend. It's so hard to believe the time just seems to fly so we're super excited for his birthday this weekend and then moving to the second shelf I have some adorable little birds and I feel like birds just remind me of spring I've been having my window open in the mornings and they've been chirping and it just is starting to really feel like spring and I'm so enjoying that the nights are staying lighter longer and all the things that spring has to offer
I love this piece on my wall here. It's just so neutral that I can add Reese or anything to this seasonally. And I got this beautiful Reese sent to me by one of my sweet friends who is also a subscriber. And I love it so, so much. So thank you so much, friend, for this beautiful item. I'm going to be using it for years to come. So moving over into our main living space, right before you hit the kitchen, I have this console table. I've kept it really simple with a vase and some eucalyptus and then also some baskets with some blankets. So this is our main living room. We also have a loft upstairs, which I'd say we spend more time in actually than this room. But I do love all the light that comes in through the windows here. And you can see a little Holstein lounging on the couch. But my favorite part of this room is the mantle. I love to decorate this seasonally. And I just think it adds such a cozy warmth to the space. This bird cage I've had for quite a few years now and I added a cute little bow to the top. I just feel like it adds that sweet little charm to it and I have a bunny inside with two eggs. It's actually a mama and baby bunny and this is one of my favorite pieces to actually decorate. I got it from a store called the Dublin Mercantile. I wish I could link it but I can't um, but I just think it's so beautiful and then I added some banners to the mantle. I have this eucalyptus type looking garland and then also this really adorable bunny garland that I got from Winners and I think it was $16.99. I think it's so adorable. I love the neutral tones and the striping on it. So moving over to our bookshelves, I did keep it pretty minimal on here just because I like things to look a little bit airier in the spring. I love this little bunny. It was from Dollarama. I kind of just stuck it in this vessel that I got from Michaels and I added some beads to it as well as tulips. On the next shelf, I did keep it quite simple with a lantern and this was also a purchase from Michaels. I love to use little watering cans in my spring decor. I'd say watering cans, rain boots, birds and bunnies are my favorite spring decor pieces, but let me know what yours are in the comments. I would love to hear. Moving on to my other bookshelf, I kept everything very similar in the same color family and then I used a lot of wood pieces, grays and greens and I do like to kind of keep a balance on both sides so some of the pieces are the same and then I did end up switching out a few things. I think my favorite piece is this cute little nest with the eggs inside. I love how rustic it looks and it's just adorable for spring. There's my little baby. He's watching as I kind of film for the home tour, just all comfy on the pillows. And then in this corner, I actually took our ottoman. I typically have it in the center of the room and I put it off to the side. I think it looks really pretty like this. And when I have my nieces and nephews over, it gives them a lot more room to play. I did add this adorable little bunny eggs and tulips to my tray here and then in this back little corner I kept it really simple with some eucalyptus, a candle, and a wick trimmer. So if you guys are new here or you just don't know, my channel did get hacked about two weeks ago. I fully recovered it. Everything's safe and secure. I did start a second channel, Rebecca Fraser Home Decorating, which you can follow me over there. And that way, if something ever happens, I can post updates. Or you can follow me on Instagram at Rebecca Fraser Home Decor. And that way, I post daily there. You can kind of get a little bit more behind the scenes if anything's ever going on. So I will link all that in the description box. On my sofa table, I did keep it really simple, just with this floral arrangement, some eggs, and I have this large dough bowl. I promised you guys I was going to decorate this for Easter, but just with everything that's been going on, I haven't had a chance to, so I will definitely be decorating it for summer, so please give me some ideas that I could use for summer decor. Um, I'm still deciding kind of what theme I want to go, but I'm thinking something very French country, so let me know what you guys think. The dining room is also one of my favorite rooms to decorate for seasonally. This little chocolate bunny sign is so perfect for Easter and spring, as well as this really pretty whimsical wreath. I got this here from HomeSense. I love how wispy it is, and I think it'll be perfect for summer also. And then I added this cute little bird feeder in gray to the center, and I feel like it just completes the look.
moving to the top of my buffet here. I wanted to create a super cute vignette for when we're sitting at the dining room table eating dinner. And I love these little basket woven bunnies that I have with their rosy cheeks. I think they're so perfect for Easter. And I added some cute little nests from Michael's as well as these little carrots that I got on clearance for $3. To fill in some space on my dining room wall, I added this blanket ladder and to it I had this really pretty hat that I thrifted as well as this little basket. I added a little lace doily to it as well as these little bunny napkins and a cute little packet of seeds which say spring to me. An easy way to add some spring touches to your home is using florals. I found these gorgeous stems at Michael's for $5 and they're so full and beautiful. To me, they kind of look like flowers budding after a long winter, so I really fell in love with those. For my place settings, I got these adorable chargers from Michaels. I've had them for a long time. I use them throughout the year. And then I added a cute little wreath with a bunny plate and a little carrot. And I think this is a perfect little touch for our Easter dinner. In this little corner of the dining room, I have this adorable sign that says lots of love is the key to a happy life. I got this in Kincardine and I just thought it was so beautiful and rustic. And then I have this really cute mama and baby bunny with this cute little ribbon that I tied on the mama. And I think the dining room turned out so cute. I love all the neutral colors and to me it says spring and I can even transition all of this into summer. I can't believe this weekend is Easter. I'm so excited. It's such a special time of the year. I would love to know in the comments what you guys are doing for Easter if you're hosting or going anywhere special. So let me know in the comments. I wanted to carry that purple and green, white and cream look into the kitchen. I love this cake stand. I actually added a cute little bunny, some carrots and eggs, and it's one of my favorite pieces in our kitchen. On our island, I added these really cute green plates. They do have some speckling on them. And then I added some little lavender touches that I actually got from Michaels this year. I think they're so cute. In this little corner of the kitchen, I just added a cookbook, a little bunny and an egg and some greenery. And to me, it just says spring and everything looks really fresh. And I love decorating my kitchen for the seasons. I think it's such a pretty area. And because I spend so much time in the kitchen, I think it's fun to just decorate it seasonally. On the stove, I have this bunny. And then I have this adorable little riser. I've added these wooden beads that say blessed as well as this cute little cutting board that a sweet subscriber sent me. I love them so much. And then here I added some plates, a cute little hello spring sign, as well as that cute little spatula with the bunny. This lavender sign is one of my favorite pieces ever. I got it from Michaels. To me, it looks like when you press a flower in a book. I don't know if you guys did that when you were younger, but it adds such a whimsical touch for spring and I think it's absolutely adorable. I mentioned that I love to decorate with watering cans, so I have another one here that I added some lavender to, as well as this cute little bunny that I framed. It was actually a card from the dollar store. I just cut it out and added it to a wooden frame, and I feel like it's a really inexpensive way to bring some seasonal decor to your space. If you're ever looking for an inexpensive way to bring some decor into your space seasonally, I feel like tea towels are a great option. I got these ones from Winners with the little bunnies. I think they're so adorable. And then above the fridge, I added this really cute basket with a little lace doily. I love how the kitchen turned out. I think it's so beautiful. It's the heart of the home. And I love to decorate this every season and just make it feel really festive and welcoming. 
and it's been really warm here in Canada. I'm so excited for spring and summer. It's been such a long winter. So looking forward to warmer days and lots of sunshine. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of you. I love you all so much. You mean the world to me and Holstein. And I'm just so grateful that you come by every week to spend some time with us. We really enjoy hearing from you. So until the next video, friends, take care. God bless and happy Easter.